Squid up? No! Squid neutral! Okay, so some of you already know, but I'll mention it again. I graduated from an art school. And I drew so much nude models over the years that it doesn't even phase me anymore when I see a naked body. And then there'll always be that one guy who ends up looking at your sketch and then he'd see it and be like, <laughs> Why are you drawing naked people? Ah, uh, I think you should put some clothes on that girl. Bro, we aren't born with clothes on. We're born naked. Anyways, yeah, 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 what, whatever, you know, you get used to it. it. It doesn't matter anymore, you know? What, Whatever, you say whatever, alright? Alright, so... We got different angles of drawing the body. We have the back, which is the best because you get to draw the butt. Then we have the 3 4 which is probably the most fun and the most dynamic. And we also have the side profile, which is, you know, kind of boring, but you gotta learn it. And then you got the worst, which is the front. And you know why it's the worst? It's because it's awkward. Okay, so the first year, the first class, the first time a new me. I come into class and the teacher goes, Okay class, so we're gonna draw a real life nude model tomorrow, so be ready. And then in my head I was like, Oh my god, what happened if it's a fit bird, you know? Like, what happened if it's some smoking hot babe? Ugh, disgusting. Okay, I'm just gonna be front with you right now. That's never gonna happen, alright? Get get your mind out of the porno, alright? Get, get your mind- you get, Just stop. Just stop. Just stop thinking about it, alright? It's never gonna happen, alright? Alright, just, just don't- I don't wanna hear it. So this dude walks in, and then he takes off his shirt. And what do I see? That's right. Pierced nipples. Double. And then, he proceeds to take off his pants. And what do I witness? That's right. A pierced squid. Okay, so the classroom is set up as a circle of desk and the model would be in the middle. So basically what I meant was that it's a roulette of which angle you end up drawing the model from. And then if you happen to have gotten the front, then that means you had bad luck. So there are different time iterations of drawing. There's 30 seconds, 1 minute, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, etc. Right? And guess who got the front? for the 30 minute iteration. That's right, that is right. It was me. Okay, so the goal here is to finish the face as fast as possible to avoid all possible eye contact that might be awkward for you, all right? And the problem here was that I kept thinking about his pierced nipples. I don't know why, but it was so distracting to me that I couldn't help but think about it. And my eyes, I couldn't control my eyes. My eyes were gravitating towards the pierced nipples. And what was awkward about this was that he was staring at me this whole time. And I think he noticed that I would kept staring at his pierced various body areas. Do you ever get caught staring at the opposite gender at high school sitting at a desk? And then your eyes meet together for that one second. And then you're just like, no, no. Well, that's exactly what it felt like. Also, pro tip when drawing the squid. Basically, you just gotta scribble. You gotta do a lot of scribbling because that represents the pubic hair. So, the more- just scribble. It doesn't matter if he's shaved or not. Just, you know, just scribble, dude. Like, hopefully, hopefully his squid isn't at full length. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so another day, another class, another model. A woman this time. She's kind of mid-aged. And quite not that fit. She's not a fit bird. And then, you know, we're doing our desk roulette. And guess who got the front for the 30 minute iteration again? That's right, it's me, Titus. No one cares. So this was probably one of my most uncomfortable memories I've had in a long time. Basically, she was in a lying down position. You know, kind of like draw me like one of your French girls positions. She just kept staring at me. She kept staring at me for the whole 30 minutes, like straight into my soul. And while I was drawing, I was like, Woman, please stop staring at me at full force. It's like she wanted my attention or something. And I was trying my hardest. My eyes were like, you, you know, when you think about controlling your eyes, you just can't. It's just all over the place. So eventually, I get into eye contact. And you know what she does? She smiles at me. 
she smiles at me. You you stare at me for like 20 minutes and then you smile at me. Please, no, 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 I don't need this. She smiled at me like as if she's like Rose from the Titanic. Like, the, there was like sexual tension. I kid you not, there was sexual tension and I did not like it because I wasn't attracted one bit and I was like, please get me out of here. But that is, maybe she's just being friendly. No, there's, there's a difference between just staring at someone for 20 minutes straight. Like, she could close her eyes, she can look left, she can look right. No, she was staring into my eyes for the past 20 minutes. I tried to fight it, I just couldn't, I gave in, I looked, what, that one split second, bam, I was dead. Alright, so closing thoughts, let's squid neutral. Not all. Not all drawing sessions are like this, alright? It just happens, I just happen to be unlucky. It depends on the model too, like, some of the models know where to look or they don't bother you that much. But, if you're unlucky and you get the wrong model on a bad day, well, you will get awkward situations. On many days, I, I got, you know, the cool back, I got to draw the butt and whatnot, you know? I love drawing butts, you know? If you couldn't tell. And also, models do a lot of work. You know, to hold the pose for that long, I give props. I give, I give props. All right, keep doing your thing, and uh, I'll see you later, you barnacle scum.